this episode, we unravel the legend of Glendalach and view the brand new Teeling Distillery in Dublin, where all the circles close. On Friday morning, the last day of our journey, we had a very special item on the list. We drove to the Wicklow Mountains, about 40 kilometers south of Dublin, to a place called Glendalach, which means the Valley of the Two Lakes. Not only a famous monastic settlement can be seen there, there also is an Irish whiskey of the same name, and we wanted to inspect both of them. As many of you know, a lot of the Game of Thrones sets were recorded here in Ireland. And we have a very special chance here. Mr. Smith and me are able to take a group photo with all of our favorite Game of Thrones characters. Watch this. The legend of Glendalach tells the story of Saint Kevin, born of royalty, who was searching for a higher meaning to his life. For seven years he lived at the upper lake, living off only what Mother Nature would serve him, trying to become one with the wilderness. Sometimes he would just stand and pray, up to his waist in the lake, until one day a blackbird landed in his hand, laying her eggs. He would remain standing for days and nights until the birds fledged and take this as a sign that his quest was fulfilled. He soon found followers and together they built the city of seven churches that still remain standing after 14 centuries. The legend of Saint Kevin also reflects in the logo of the whiskey called Glendalach. And so the time had come for our quest to find the corresponding distillery. Curiously enough, though, Google Maps seemed to send us out of the valley. So it turns out this is Glendalach Distillery and they're building a new site that will be finished in like two years but there is no way you can do a tour or buy a t-shirt or taste it. So I guess we gotta go to Dublin then. Okay.
at the last distillery of our whiskey tour all across Ireland, history wrote another page. And this is a really important one. When John Teeling sold his Cooley distillery back in 2014 to Beam Suntory, 16,000 casks of old whiskey were part of the deal. And so he could bridge over the time until he and his sons, Jack and Stephen, who are running business now, could release their own whiskey made in their brand new distillery right in the background in the middle of Dublin. In 2015, this amazingly beautiful distillery opened its gates, not far from the spot where once Walter Teeling had opened his craft distillery 250 years ago. And so the circle is complete. Their logo, which is a phoenix rising from a pot still, that represents the rebirth or re-establishment of the Teeling brand in Dublin, if you will. Teeling Distillery is the first newly opened distillery in Dublin since 125 years. A town that used to be home to 37 whiskey distilleries. They produce, as widely common in Ireland, on three pot stills, named after Jack Teeling's daughters, Alison, Natalie and Rebecca. They have an annual outcome of 500,000 liters alcohol that contains single grain, single malt and single pot still whiskey. And despite to the short time since their launch, have been recipients for several awards, which bodes well for future releases. Teeling generously extends its hard-fought independence even to small YouTubers like the two of us. We were allowed to move and film freely. At the end of the tour, we enjoyed the best Irish coffee I had in my entire life. And that, on a side note, was on the house, because they had to move our tour 20 minutes back. We went on our way back home. Felt a little sad, but happy at the same time. Because we again had learned and experienced so much. But among all those insights acquired on our second whiskey journey, one of them seemed to have tightened. Even though production, the usage of barley, the history and the people that create this drink may differ dramatically, there's one thing that makes each and every whiskey even better. It needs a story. Slanjiva. We need your help, so our channel can keep growing. Maybe you know someone interested in all things whiskey that you can recommend us to. Check out our playlist, Vlogs in English. Each click and every minute playtime does help. And we do enjoy each and every comment, so please feel free. Please take the chance to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell, so you will be notified whenever something's going on. It's all free. Thank you.